Right now we are on our way to Charleston, South Carolina, looking for guitars as we always do. We've got a handful of really cool stores to check out today. We've never been to any of these stores, so this is a complete shot in the dark today. We will see if we can find anything cool. Right now, we are at a thrift shop called The Barkin Basement. We're here because I saw pictures that there's cats here usually, so we're gonna go see if there's any cats inside. Unironically, this is why I put this on the route. I was like, this is so worth getting off the highway. This is the best find you could ever have. This, yes, I, I finally found something in, in a laptop bag. They have the Sony DVD. Basically, you can plug anything into here and you can turn it into a DVD. You can copy DVDs with this. Uh, this is for home video. This is hopefully not for piracy. But uh, yeah, you can either put them onto the hard drive on here. I think you can even use this as like a capture card. But uh, a very old one. But these are still pretty desirable because they can do DVD recording. Whoa, that was a... That, that might be a, a find. This is terrible posture. That's pretty rowdy. Compact VHS. Love Dude, it. so sick. This is cool, but this doesn't. Very nice, very cool thrift store. The Barkin Basement was a really cool thrift store. There was a nice small cat named Mooshu. She was very sweet. This thrift store is run by the animal shelter, so all the proceeds from it go to their local shelter to take care of animals, so we love that. On the way into Charleston, we stopped at two Goodwills. There's nothing too crazy, but I did find the stool, which we will use in the workshop. So for five bucks, you can't beat it, but nothing too good in either store. And it looks like most of the better stuff, whether music related or otherwise, is probably ending up on Shop Goodwill. So that's a bummer, but we did see some cool uh, vintage Technic speakers. Looked like they're probably 70s-ish, made in Japan. They were bulky, so it wouldn't make sense for us to ship, but I do wish I took a little bit closer look at those. Those, those could have been something pretty cool. And now we track on. So good news, if you've been keeping up with our videos lately, you'll know I've been finding a number of Bose Wave radios. This is a very early one. I've had no intention of finding a bunch of these, but they just keep coming my way. So I guess we have another one. Oh, he moved. Where'd he go? He's back. He's doing deals. Oh, that guy's leaning. On the way into Charleston proper, we stopped in a pawn shop that was on the side of the road and found a 70s silver panel Fender Champ and it was in really, really nice shape. It has a replaced speaker, but otherwise it's in really, really nice shape and it sounds really good. Very cool find. The next stop, let's look on the list. The next stop is Mount Pleasant Music. Hello. This is the third Squire Rock Band guitar I found in the last couple of years, so I think we'll take it. <laughs> Look at that. I just like probably got about 20 of those. Yeah. Telly came from the same guy. Yeah. Oh, interesting. He, yeah. I uh, just kind of moved guitars for him every now and again when he needs money. Yeah. The rest right. is fine. And that was a pretty popular 70s color. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah. I, I'm very into this. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a neat little guitar. It's been refinished, but because black is a color you see these in, it actually doesn't really deter me that much. We are just leaving Mount Pleasant Music. You guys got to check the store out. Michael is a gentleman. Lots of cool guitars. Great talking to him as well. Lots and of cool amps. Lots of cool amps too. They had a they had a basement 100. They had a basement 10 and a big uh, like 410 enclosure. So that's 
that's rowdy, but all kinds of good stuff. Definitely worth stopping here. This is my kind of music shop. I love going in places like this where it's a good mix of used stuff, vintage stuff, just kind of everything out of the ordinary. So you love to see it. I did pick up the Squire Rock Band guitar because you had to do it. But uh, did get also get a really cool lead on a 71 Tele. So we may make a deal on that later, but he wants to uh, rightfully get it ripped apart and uh, verify everything before he sells it. So we'll see what happens there. We'll keep you in the loop if that ends up coming our way. Just down the road from Mount Pleasant Music is Rusty's Cool Guitars. So we're gonna go check it out. Some art. Really adds to the whole ambience. <laughs> really cool Guild G37 here in Sunburst, which is uh, not an easy color to come by for these. There's like one out there right now, and this looks like it's cleaner, so that's pretty cool. 40, 95, yeah, that's probably about right. This is a pretty, this is pretty much all they used, so. I like the green one. Shout out to Cower. Very good vibes. Well, it's mostly new. There actually is a handful of used pieces, which they said are on consignment and they're actually all really nice stuff, so. Very cool shop all around, good vibes, good people. So if you're in the area, come check this one out. $20 DLC for this game. <laughs> We've reached the final music stop of the trip, which is the Ye Old Music Store. Let's see what's inside. I feel you. I've got a waiting list longer than my leg on people looking for old stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mine. And uh, the guy that owns it wants 2200 for it. Okay. Right. No, I mean, the color's pretty, but uh, the A14 to me sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> 
Driving around Charleston, South Carolina for the day and checking out all the shops was a really good time. We may not have found as much stuff as we normally do when we do these shopping videos, but anytime I get to spend time with my favorite people and check out new places is always a win in my book. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite piece of gear was that we picked up in this video or what your favorite piece of gear was that you saw. I think my favorite had to be the 1976 Fender Champ. That is such a fun little amp and it can get some really nice breakup tones at a fairly low volume. So I love small amps like this. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It really does help us out. And we will see you in another video soon. Bye.